So we're here at CES 2022 in the e-mobility area, and it's really cool. We ran into uh, Sunny Vu, Super Strata is the bicycle, and tell us about this carbon fiber customized printed bicycle. We're at Advanced Manufacturing Technology Company. We, uh, uh, the mother company is uh, Arivo, and uh, we make carbon fiber composite parts at scale, large parts uh, at scale. And so to kind of demonstrate it, we decided to uh, print a bicycle. And uh, so we launched a, uh, a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo a year and a half ago. We thought we'd sell a few hundred bikes and they ended up getting over 4,500 backers, and which was just not what we expected. And so we've been just playing catch up to uh, print this and get it shipped uh, over the last year and a half. But yeah, it's a 3D printed, additively manufactured carbon fiber composite bike. The whole frame is unibody. It's printed as one piece. It comes out of the printer as one piece. And uh, you know we have to sand it and prime it and paint it afterwards. But it's super strong. Uh, one because it's unibody. The second is because it's uh, thermoplastic. So most, if not all, uh, composite bikes I know of are thermoset carbon fiber composite, which is light but it's very brittle. This is light but very tough uh, because it's thermoplastic. It's just a different material. So it's really a second generation of composite in a sense. We also print the the, the fork. We brought a bunch of them out here, uh, eight to uh, ten of them or so, uh, to the show. And uh, we, we brought all the e-bikes because it's an e-mobility uh, event. And just been having a bunch of people come by to, to ride them, try them out. I guess the most important thing about it is the fact that every one of them are customized. So each one of these is actually custom printed. So we take the person's biometrics, height, weight, wingspan, uh, your, your inseam, how long your legs are, basically we measure as much as you know, uh, uh, of your body as we can. And then we take that data and generate the shape of the bike for you. Some people want a more aggressive uh, stance, some less aggressive. And so, yeah, every shape is different for every person's, uh, every customer's uh, requirements. And that really points to the whole idea of mass customization, right? Because you're doing this at a relatively affordable price, right? Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, that's the benefit of additive manufacturing and 3D printing in general is you can, you can make something different for every person. And uh, so that's that, that's quite a, quite a unique benefit. I mean, literally from the moment you click on your order and pay for the bike, our algorithms will generate the size, the, the shape, and the size, and the, the painting, all that. And so every bike really is a bespoke bike. And so for a custom-made carbon fiber bike made just for you, the bike is twenty eight hundred dollars, twenty seven ninety nine, and then for the the e bike starts at uh, thirty nine ninety nine. And it really depends on the components that you get. You know, you get nicer components. It, you know the bike's lighter but it's also more expensive so that but that's up to uh, the customer is this the type of thing too where a, a bike shop could maybe custom order the frame for you and then they do the final assembly type of thing you know we haven't thought about doing that but we'd be open to it I mean we're like I said we're an advanced manufacturing yeah. technology company so we're making our focus is making the structures you know um, the, uh, the components and assembly, you know, that's, uh, we do that as well. We have experts uh, in-house that do that, but uh, that's, that's not our core, right. you know. Well, let's talk about your core because this is a manifestation of some of the cool things that are yeah. coming. So tell us about some of those things. Our core is being able to make large, complex composite parts very quickly and at scale. We've got software that helps automatically design the structure. Uh, which is not trivial, actually, because it's an anisotropic material, which means the uh, the properties of the material, in this case, strength and toughness and whatnot, is dependent on the orientation of the material. So, you, you know, along the axis of the fiber, it's very strong. Uh, when, when it's not, uh, the, when you're talking about shear force, not so strong, unless you, you put the fibers in that direction, okay. right? So and you have to kind of weave them or something? That, well, I mean, we just lay them out in the direction where you need strength. Okay. Okay. So in a sense, you get actually a lot more strength than like a fabric. So like a, a carbon fiber weave that you see, that typical crisscross weave, uh, it's great, but it's, uh, again, that's, uh, that, that's crisscross. So, you know, sometimes you want all of the strength in one direction. Okay. We can do that. Uh, and so we do that for Superstrata. That's how we achieve the strength that we can get. What other kind of components are you guys manufacturing? We started with doing a lot of aerospace stuff, for stuff for drones and whatnot. And actually, we decided to shift over to the consumer. Uh, you know, uh, bikes, e-bikes, uh, other types of electric vehicles. Um, we're doing some automotive uh, parts. Still doing a lot of drone stuff, drone parts. So basically, anything where you need very high strength to weight ratio, mm -hmm. and you need it right away. 
uh, you know, because setting up a composite line takes a lot of effort. You know, you got to get the molds and the the autoclave and the, the pattern cutting. It's it's pretty complicated. Whereas for us, we take the uh, the CAD, the you know, the 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 files, and we'll and we'll print it. You know, I mean, there's some conversion process needed. It's a little bit of engineering, but generally, we can if uh, we have a good CAD, we can generally get something printed within a day or so. So there's no way you can set up a composite line and get a sample right. part in a day. It's usually, well, a year. Right. <laughs> so uh, it's... Uh, and the, you don't have the tooling costs and those sorts of things, right? Yeah, no. I mean, we might have uh, uh, a couple of support structures that we need to make if it's a complex mm -hmm. shape. But uh, generally, yeah, there's no tooling involved. And so it's pr kind of instant on. Uh, a lot of bike folks have uh, come to us to print their bikes. That's our main business is printing stuff for other people. Not, yeah. you know, Superstrata really is a demonstration right, brand. Right. It happens to be a brand that we love because yeah. we love the design. So we'll, we'll, we're printing for other folks. That's uh, that's really cool, and it's uh, it just seems like it's uh, kind of a new world because you're not really wasting materials when you do that's this, right? right? That, that that's right, no, and you're also not wasting capital and space because when you're making things just in time, literally just in time, truly just in time, you're you're saving companies capital that gets locked up in inventory. Have dealers come by and say, hey, "Can you ship us some bikes?" And we'll say, "Well, what size? One of every kind." Well, we don't have sizes. Right. A bike that we make for you. It's going to be very different from back for me, even though we're actually similar in size, right. but our, our preferences will be different. And so from a distributed manufacturing standpoint, I mean, it sounds like you're doing some manufacturing in the U.S. and some in Vietnam, but yeah. do you see more localized manufacturing with your techniques? Yeah, absolutely. That's another benefit of additive manufacturing. And this is why, like, I think the dream of additive manufacturing at scale really um, is a breathtaking one because now we can uh, bring manufacturing back home, back to America. I mean, that's the dream is, you know, we're starting in, uh, in a sense, we started in the U.S. We scaled up our first print farm in Vietnam. We'll be printing, uh, building our next farms in uh, in Europe and in the U.S., probably the Midwest somewhere, okay. somewhere, in, probably not in the coast, yeah. but uh, somewhere where we can get stuff shipped very quickly. Um, but yeah, absolutely. We're going to build our next farms in the U.S. and these will be printed assembled in the u.s well that's great and it's uh, it's really great to meet you in person and uh, to get this update so thank you well, thanks for coming